What's up everyone welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be going over the best 35 tips and tricks for your new Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. We have researched and tested many tips and tricks for this product and in this video we have reviewed the best ones just for you. Welcome to Search Tech. Our mission is to help you get the most out of your tech through reviews and tutorials. If that is something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when we release a new video. And there's going to be useful links below in the description covering everything that we discuss in this video. With that being said, let's get right into it. So first up, we're going to have the customization of the font size and the style as well. And this is going to be the first one just because it's really cool the fact that you can customize the font size and style of your device because you're going to be looking at it the whole time. To do this just go to your settings and then go on display and right here you're going to see font size and style. So now diving in into the S Pen, I'm going to show you how to customize the S Pen features. In case you want to change any of the actions that happens when you're using your S Pen, like customizing the menu or seeing some other extra settings, I'm going to ask you to go to your regular settings and then you're going to scroll down until you see advanced features. Right here you're going to see the menu that says S Pen, so just tap on it and you will see a lot of options to play with in order to customize the S Pen. For example, we are going to have the option to let the device notify you whenever the S Pen is not closed. And take it from me, you're going to lose track of your S Pen unless you buy a case with a dedicated S Pen slot. Even magnetized to the top or back of the tablet, the S Pen can be easily dislocated when you set it down. So for example, to activate this specific feature, you just have to go to warn if S Pen is left behind. So you'll receive a notification if the tablet strays too far from the pen. If you're regularly bringing your Tab S8 out into the world, definitely toggle this feature on. Next up, we're going to have the DEX mode. And for this, you want to go to your quick settings by swiping down twice from the top of the display and select DEX. This will take you to a desktop version of your Tab S8, making it easier to move windows around and resize them if you want to do some multitasking. So now let's just wait a little bit until it loads and we will have the desktop view from it as you can tell right now. We're going to have a different display sort of vibe and we're going to have the menus right here in the bottom. If you want to resize windows in DEX, just tap on the edge of the windows whether it's the bottom, top or the sides to make it to your preferable size. Now we're going to have how to exit the DEX mode. So when you are in this mode, you will notice that there is no notification bar or quick settings menu to exit. To exit this mode and go back to the default display, just tap on the square made by the little circles in the bottom left corner and you can see the option that says exit DEX. Now we're going to have motion smoothness and this tab S8 comes with a 120Hz refresh rate by default. But if you want to down it a notch to save some battery, you can do it by going to your settings and heading to display. There you will see the option motion smoothness menu and you're going to select the 60Hz. And if you want to go back to the 120Hz, that will be in this same menu so you can jump between this one or the other. We're also going to have the customization of the clock style and the clock on the lock screen can be easily customized to your own preference. And to do it, just head to your settings and then you're going to go on lock screen and then clock style. Right here, you're going to see all the different options that you have to customize the clock. You can also customize the lock screen widgets and if having them in your home screen wasn't enough, you can now have them in the lock screen as well. To enable the widgets on your lock screen, just go to your settings and then go on lock screen once again. And right here, you're going to see the option that says widgets. Select a widget of your choice and then save. Now we move over to the camera, we're going to have the customization of photo formats. And if you want to save space, it only makes sense to save the photos in HEIF, which is the high efficiency image file format and videos in the high efficiency video file. This file formats allow your phone to capture photos and videos that are considerably smaller than conventional JPG photos and to make this change, just head over to your settings 
on your camera and then right here you're going to see the option of HEIF pictures and a little bit down below the high efficiency videos as well. You could also customize the shutter button and whenever you slide the shutter button on the camera you'll have an action being performed when you do it. If you want to customize it just head to your camera settings and then go on swipe shutter button 2. Right here you can select if you want to take the burst shot or create a GIF. And like I mentioned before, the burst mode, all you have to do is hold the shutter button and then slide down immediately and that will start taking the burst mode. You're also going to have the quick record and to do this just hold the shutter button and just keep your finger in there and it will start recording a quick video. Then we're going to have take pictures from videos and to do this just go to your video window and then start recording. Once you do that you're going to see this camera icon right here on the right side at the bottom and you just have to tap on it and that will take a picture of your video. If you want to remap the volume keys basically just change what they do. You can always go to your settings and then go to accessibility. Right here on the accessibility you're going to go on advanced and then side and volume up and you can select two fingers and hold and everything that you see right here. If you want to customize the side key you can also do that as well by just going to your settings and then you're going to go to advanced features. Right here we're going to see the option of side key. Now let's talk about hiding apps and to hide any apps all you have to do is go to your home screen settings by just tapping on an empty space on the screen and once you do that you're going to go right here at the bottom where it says hide apps. You're going to select any apps that you want to hide and that will be all. Next up we're going to have double tap to wake and to do this basically whenever your phone is locked it means that by double tapping on the screen it will wake up the lock screen. To activate it just go to your settings and then head to advanced features. Right here you're going to go motions and gestures once again and you're going to see the double tap to turn on or off screen. Now if you want to have a quickly accessibility widget options all you have to do is long press on an any app and if you see this little widget icon that means that this app has the widgets available for you. You could also zoom with the volume controls and to activate this you just have to go to your camera settings and then you are going to go on shooting methods. Right here you're going to see press volume keys 2 and you can select zoom in or out control system volume or take picture or record video. If you want to use the temporary mute all you have to do is head to your quick settings by just swiping down twice and right here you're going to see the sound icon. You can tap on it and then it will switch to vibrate or maybe silent. You can always change between these modes. And if you want to switch between the most recent apps all you have to do is double tap on the three bar right here at the bottom of your device and that will make you jump between the most recent two apps. We're also going to have pin windows and basically what this is going to do is lock any certain app that you pick on your device without letting you exit that app. To do this just go to your settings and then you're going to go on biometrics and security. Then you're going to go on other security settings and right here you're going to see pin windows. To use it just go to the multitask switcher which is basically tapping the three bars right here at the bottom. You're going to see the app icon tap on it and then you're going to see pin window. You can also add password on pin windows by just going to the pin windows menu and right here you're going to go and ask for pattern. It's going to be as simple as that. Now I want to talk to you about the password options and in order to protect your phone you just have to go to your settings and then go to biometrics and security. Here you can choose if you want facial recognition or fingerprints. If you decide to pick fingerprints just remember that you have the option of doing multiple fingerprints and right here you can see that we can add them and I totally recommend you to do so because you don't know which one will be easier to use when unlocking your device. Then we're going to have customization of the home screen and this will be three tricks in one. Basically remember when I told you to tap on an empty space on the screen we want to do that again and right here we're going to go on settings and the first three options are going to be the customizations of the home screen. We're going to have the layout, the grid and also the apps grid. You can always customize and jump between these three. And if you want to add contact information on your lock screen all you have to do is go to your settings and then select lock screen. 
Right here, we're going to see the option of contact information where you can type anything you want. Now we're going to talk about flash notifications and to activate them, you have to go to settings and then go to accessibility. Right here, we're going to go to advanced settings and select flash notifications. And speaking of notifications, if you want to have the brief pop-up notifications or maybe customize them, you can go to your settings and then go to notifications. Right here, you're going to see the brief pop-up notifications and you can select this menu to do all the customizations. And if you wish to activate the edge panels, all you have to do is go to your settings and then go on display. Right here, you're going to see the toggle on edge panels and this will basically give you this transparent bar on the side of the screen, which will take you to a lot of shortcuts. If you want to customize it, just tap on the edge panels title and it will take you to a more customizable menu. Now let's talk about visibility enhancements and you can check them by going to the settings and going to your accessibility. Here you will see the visibility enhancements and this will let you play with the contrast of fonts and then also the buttons as well. If you wish to activate TalkBack because you have any vision problem, you can always go to settings and then go on accessibility. Right here we're going to see TalkBack and this will basically read everything that's on the screen out loud for you in case you are not able to see. Alright, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.